Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and today I'm gonna quickly be showing you how to use Photoshop to create a thumbnail photo for your IGTV videos. So they look great both as a larger rectangle on IGTV and as a square on your regular Instagram feed. Incidentally, if you want to save time and not actually have to watch this tutorial at all, I have created a free pre-made Photoshop PSD file that you can just drop your image onto that will make your thumbnails look perfect. You can download it down at the link in the video description. Don't want to download the pre-made file though? That's totally fine. Let's continue with the tutorial. Welcome to Photoshop. The first thing you're going to want to do is go over here and select create new, which is going to open up the new document window here. Then over here on the right for preset details, we're going to call this IGTV thumbnail. And then for width, we're going to set that to 1080 and the height we're gonna to set to 1920. And you're gonna say, wait a second, Matt, that looks familiar. That's like 1920 by 1080, but flip vertically. Yes, it's almost like IGTV uses the 16 by nine aspect ratio, but it's vertical, nine by 16. You make sure that pixels are selected and all the rest of these settings look good. Let's press create. This image is now the perfect rectangular size for a thumbnail on the IGTV tab of your profile. Let's drag in a still over here. This is from a time lapse that I filmed in Colorado last week. And as you can see, it's kind of in the middle. So let's resize it. We're gonna go up here and check this little chain link icon and then drag the height up till it fully fills the screen. 89.13% is the winner. Drag it over, perfectly fills the frame. That's what I'm going for right about there. Hit the checkbox, and now this image is properly sized. At this point, this image is now ready to be a thumbnail on the IGTV tab of your Instagram profile. But the issue is that if you choose to post a preview of your IGTV video to your Instagram profile and feed, that preview is square, not rectangular. So it's going to crop off the top and bottom of your thumbnail. The good news is that this is gonna be a very precise cropping. And Instagram is gonna crop out exactly a 1080 by 1080 sized square from the center of this image. Go up here to the view menu and make sure that rulers are selected. That way you have rulers that are visible up here. Next, right click on the ruler anywhere and make sure it is set to pixels. Then you can go right up here and right around this line, click and start to drag down and a line appears. And you're gonna see here negative 200, negative 100. It's counting through all the pixels. And we're gonna to wanna to go down here to 420 pixels. Hitting that precise number can be hard to hit whenever you're this zoomed out. So if you press Control plus or Command plus, I believe if you're on a Mac, that's gonna zoom in the image here. Very, very close. You see why I made a preset for you, so you don't need to do this. And let's click up here at the top of the ruler and drag down another ruler line and we're looking for 1500. There are your two guidelines. Anything between these two guidelines is going to be visible as that Instagram square. Anything outside of them is going to be cropped out. So make sure that you put anything important inside the square. Do you have text? Put it inside the square. You have faces? Put them inside the square. In my case, what I think I would like to do is actually zoom in this image just a little bit to make sure that I don't have this tint at the very bottom of the square. So I'm gonna press Control T to bring up the resize menu, make sure the chain link is selected, and let's zoom in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna drag this up. So now we have a little bit of the pond, then we have the tint, then we have the stars above it. I'm gonna press the checkbox. This image is now ready to export, and if you want, you can actually delete this layer by making sure it is selected and pressing the delete key and saving this Photoshop PSD document as it is. That way you can duplicate it and use it as a template for whenever you want to upload another IGTV thumbnail. To export this photo, I'm gonna go up here to File, Export, Export As. For format, I'm gonna select JPEG. And for quality, I'm gonna set it to 70% because I find that, that usually looks pretty good. Click Export All and that's gonna bring up a file dialog box. You can select where you wanna save your file and I'm gonna save it here as IGTV thumbnail. That's it. You can now save your image and upload it to IGTV as a video thumbnail. And you can rest assured that your photo is going to look great not only on IGTV, but also as a square in your feed. With that, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. I have a ton of other videos that I've made all 
about Instagram, Instagram TV, export settings, presets, best quality, etc. If you want to watch any of that, I will link to a playlist of all those videos down in the video description. It would also be a huge help to me if you would consider liking this video, giving it a thumbs up, and subscribing, and hitting the bell if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.